Cheer more in Baltimore as the road to the Final Four kicks off with the Colonial Athletic Association Men's Basketball Championship, March 6th through 9th at the Royal Farms Arena. A new money-saving fan package includes a room at your choice of hotels, two harbor passes, two admissions to the Power Play at Live Fan Fest, and an option to purchase discounted tickets for the championship. Come for the tourney and stay for the fun. Score your fan package today at Baltimore.org. because he could apply pressure, he could get in the lane, and they haven't had good starts, JMU. Starting has been a problem. Now, as you can see, JMU starting. Winston Grays, who had been in the starting lineup before being replaced today by Joey McClain, finds D'Alembert, hangs in the air and scores. Johanny D'Alembert, a strong inside move. Once but offensively, has got five already for the Tigers. Marcel, a big time three. And Morrison. It gave the Tigers their first lead of the day that is erased by a Ron Curry three. Previous segment by James Madison. Ball movement always creates open shots against zone or man. McGlynn, that's his specialty. He's a deadly three point shooter and picks up his first of the afternoon. He has struggled playing on the road. Nice. Davis, one more pass from Tamaj Parker Rivera. Picture perfect. Out on the screens. Curry back of the iron. Here comes Hawkins on the move. Finds Davis, slashes to the rim and scores. Tigers and now the Dukes with a drought of over five and a half minutes. Can't be ended by Trevor Kaba. Can D'Alembert do it? He keeps it alive. Curry, free for the three. Yes! Big bucket for Ron Curry. It's a two-point contest. These two teams met back on January 3rd. Curry, stop and pop. Got it. Wow. Another three, his fourth of the day. He now knows it is his team. But can't give his team the lead. D'Alembert, the putback off the miss. He can. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's an all-star there. Turned over. Marcel up ahead to Hawkins. Behind the back and the finish off the window. Boy, that was sweet. That's Gary delighted about the attention this game and his efforts along with his wife Kristen have maintained as rolling it in was Joey McLean. Top a what now? Five, five games, game yeah. losing streak. And the Nets coming in uh, ready to play with Derrick Williams. How about that shot inside though by he atoned. Yeah. John, John Davis atoned. Missed an easy one. That one was even harder. Was able to finish that. Oh, good hesitation, D'Alembert. So back-to-back -back field goals for the Dukes after he could even play some two. Here's Mike Morcel, who's been quiet this half, but loudly makes his presence felt. Paula Shotkus puts it on the floor. The kick back out. Curry brought Morcel out. One more in the corner, and another three-pointer. His second in a row from Joey McLean. Well, Pat Scary's not happy about that because when you give up second chances, that's what happens. Ron Curry now five of seven from behind the arc. Marcel looked good on his two free throws. That will give him 14 on the afternoon. The backdoor cut. Curry hit and fouled. Lands hard, and he's in a little bit of discomfort. Davis, head down, bodies in, and gets it to two points. He got them both. Now Pat Scary will take his final timeout. Matt Brady orchestrates on the JMU sideline. Has Vodanovich and Gray switch. Marcel on Curry. Two to shoot. He'll take a jumper. And it goes in at the buzzer. That's how JMU wins it. 28 points for their junior leader, Ron Curry. And on the road, the Dukes knock off the Tigers. 63-61. It's going to be a two-pointer and the final.